Meghan Markle here. Today is March 14, 2024. It is 4.54 uh, a.m. So I have some tweets to share with you. These were some of the tweets that were being discussed online yesterday. Some of them may have been, I probably share some of them on, on my community board, but um, I was pretty busy. Every little chance that I have or free time was to finish edit part two of the court uh, uh, documents that I recorded oh my god I don't know what was going on with me uh, there's some mistakes that I made but I had to re-record some of them it took me a while so this is my back end 3842 subscribers new subscribers welcome estimate revenue 164.52 and I hope you guys will help support my channel through PayPal cash app um, I have a patreon account but I don't really put that much there Anything that I want to share with you, I put it on Twitter unless YouTube says no. Okay, then I need to find another platform to get the links to put it on um, on Patreon. But these are the three places that you could support me. But um, everything else I'm sharing on uh, YouTube. So if you have any extra, you know, I don't want to make things to pay. But uh, maybe at some point I probably will need to do that because like... Uh, what is it uh, those uh, memories to be able to record every day you know I have to buy uh, some stuff well my husband helped me with them so um, I don't know those electronic stuff so to maintain the channel pretty much so if you could help support the channel okay everything you're giving me will be going back to the channel all right so having videos every day is not easy it takes memories to hold those information. Okay, so let's go on Twitter. All right. These are the noise that were being made. All right, so we're going to start with that. How will I explain this? You know what? Let me not go into it. Let me just go. The soft launch of Rose Hanbury is fascinating to witness. It's like they are attempting to phase the wife out to slowly introduce her replacement. The king set the example and the heir follows like father, like son, a Windsor through and through, and she an uh, actual English, English rose. Oh my God, no embarrassment, no shame at all for these ladies. And this part, uh, if, uh, what's her name? If Kate had stood up for Megan, you will not believe how many people she will have had standing up for her. Because I'm totally against any marriage being disrupted by uh, a third person or someone else. Not third. Who knows? Maybe third, fourth, whatever. I am, you know, through and through for marriage. If he doesn't want to be married, there's a, the other option. Divorce. But anyway. Okay, but he doesn't have enough time to divorce and lunch ad Charles did unless he'll just get someone to cut another wife when he is king and replace her with the rumored mistress. Okay, I always said that Kate will never be queen, especially when Camilla was very open to Rose and Charles. Let his older grandson Rose's son join his coronation. He got to stand by Charles first and then came George. Wow, I don't know those people, so I. I will have to look at those images uh, during the coronation at the balcony to see what she's talking about. George may not get to sit in that chair. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, both unfit, both cheaters, poor husband. Okay, so that's an ad, there's that, them. Okay, definitely after this, I move on. Let me read bottom up. 
All of a sudden, Harry looks better. Okay, Hanbury is no English rules. Kate Middleton was the best ever. Good. I don't know. I don't know about that. It's how they use the complicit British press to sanitize Camilla's image leading up to Charles' divorce and after a while viciously throwing Diana to the wolves. There's one tweet that I came across. Did I put it? Let me pause and make sure I have it. Yes, I have it. I actually had it last at the bottom of uh, the list, but I'm going to show it after that. It has nothing to do with uh, what I'm talking about, but it raised a lot of questions to see this is what's going on. Okay, Henberry is no English rules. Kate Middleton was the best ever. Good. Um, that's an opinion. It's how they use the complicit British press to sanitize Camilla's image leading up to Charles' divorce and after a while viciously throwing Diana to the wolves. Okay, baggage for God. If this turns out to be the case, they need more episodes of The Crown, a real-life soap opera. Okay, I'm no fan of Kate, but why do they always trade down? Mm. Okay, I always remind my friends that if you are the side piece, what he did to his wife <laughs> with you will repeat it by him on you. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Men and power are a trip. All right, so this is the part I had all the way at the bottom. It has to do with government kind of thing. So it's a screenshot, and they blur out the person who originally tweeted it. Oh, I don't know where they got it. Okay, y'all want to see something crazy? She blur out the person. There's rumor in London. They're playing with fire, accepting the backing of people who want to topple not just the monarchy, but the government. I'm not surprised by this at all. Um, what did I have? Uh, I think I spoke about it vaguely a while back, like two years ago. I think in the firm, the video has the UK, the British flag in it. How do they call the flag? Union flag? I'm not surprised by this at all. I, I told you there was a parallel between the U.S. and the U.K. It was happening in the U.K. And then the U.S., we're still hanging by a thread. Okay? So, it's the same thing that's going on. Okay? They will soon realize being useful idiots won't get them far as they'll be thrown to the wolves once those people realize they lost. Okay? So, that was when? Yesterday. Okay? I need a diagram. GE that's okay I thought that was a uh, okay there will be refund change in government okay let me read this I thought that was a ad KGE okay, GE general election in May or November after you guys there will be refund change in government and the monarchy may well retreat but they will not fall best to spend energy on holding them accountable okay I don't know all right what the? Oh, that's an ad. We want rid of the Tory government. We will get rid at the next general election this year. Mm, we'll, I'll wait and see because I thought you guys had that a couple years ago, but not really the fact. You put more of them. Okay, is there a treatment planned for these folks? Yikes. Okay, so let me book this. This will be for another video. All right, so let's go to the next tweet. That has to do with William and Kate. Okay, so that's a video. I saw, I saw it, but I didn't listen to it, so I don't know what it is about. Okay, Royal Watcher, there's this here, surfaces new photos of Kate Middleton that should put everyone at ease. Okay, 3 minutes and 22 seconds. That's pretty long. What's going on in Buckingham Palace? Well, Desi and Desi's friend, the palace is in chaos. They're eating beans on toast for breakfast. They're driving on the wrong side of the road. There's flying nannies everywhere. It's a mess. Okay, well, I think all of that stuff is normal there, but has the royal family explained why they released a Photoshop picture? Yes, the royals are taking full responsibility for this breach of trust by completely blaming the whole thing on Princess Kate. Mistakes were made all around by her and her very real graphic design hobby. But the good news is she's doing fine, and the palace just released a new photo that was taken this morning. See? <laughs> Everything is normal. Oh my god, there's the Twin Tower. <laughs> uh, that looks like in Jersey City, the background of Jersey City, but okay. She looks great. manipulated she's in front of the twin towers <laughs> hmm. yes but you have to remember 9-11 didn't happen in England <laughs> oh, wait 
You're right. Uh, I'm getting breaking news. The Royals have admitted this photo has been edited. They're saying, quote, on behalf of the entire royal family, this is Kate's fault. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was really insensitive of her, guys. Grace, why can't they just release an unedited photo of the family so we know everything is fine? <laughs> you must be some sort of fortune teller, sir, because I'm now hearing they have a new photo of the family together. <laughs> yeah. Who's that? That, that, is, that is one happy family. No, Grace, Rapid Grace, the Neva? What are you talking about? Queen Elizabeth is dead. How is she even in that photo? Yeah, yeah. And the kids all have Al Pacino's face on them. <laughs> <clears throat> and just to confirm, we are sure none of her kids are Al Pacino? Yeah, we're, sure. we're sure. Yes, we're sure. <laughs> okay. Mm. That confirms it. It's a fake. Oh. And okay, mm, the Royals just released a state a statement saying Kate made that one up too, <laughs> and um, they attached a list of things that are also Kate's fault. Okay, mm, colonization, <laughs> the whole Prince Andrew thing, COVID, and um, you know when you try to put a USB in but you realize it's the wrong way, so you gotta turn it around, but then somehow it's still the wrong way. That's also Kate. <laughs> Can the royal family not just be honest with what's happening instead of trying to blame Kate for every PR f up? Well, the good news is they don't have to because they just found the real photo of Kate that should put all these questions to rest. <laughs> <laughs> See, she's fine. Would a woman being silenced by a repressive dynasty be able to dunk like that? <laughs> Two points for the princess. Yeah, something still seems off. You know, that's what I thought too, but on the other hand, she says she's doing great, so. Well, that is true. Thank you, Grace. Grace Kulenschmidt, everyone. <laughs> oh my God, that's the life. We are brilliant. <laughs> you guys play a lot. <laughs> that she is there. Oh my God, look at that one. I think I have it someplace. Someone retweeted it. Okay, I'm surprised they're not blaming Megan for everything. The USB port was insane. This, oh, I shared this in another video already. Let's go to the next tweet. I don't want to give myself... Oh, I almost skipped it. The CBS thing. Okay, so there's another one. A minute and 54 seconds. All of the videos, there will be screenshot, okay? For years, there were rumors that Prince William has been having an affair with Rose Henberry. And it's been said that Kate Middleton and Prince William fed Harry and Meghan to the British media to prevent the affair becoming public. Well, the US media has made the affair public. It's a minute and 54 seconds, screenshot in between. Here's something for those of you who are royal watchers, and I know you are, Lewis. I am. I'm afraid I've got some troubling news about England's royal family. Um, I know this is your life's passion, Lewis, and I'm sorry. <laughs> As we were talking about on this show yesterday, the kingdom has been all flutter by the seeming disappearance of Kate Middleton. Well, now, internet sleuths are guessing that Kate's absence may be related to her husband and the future King of England, William, having an affair. <gasps> oh no, my heart goes out to poor Kate. Now let's dish the hot goss. I am ready to spill the tea, literally. Fabrizio, bring it out. There you go. Thank you, Fabrizio. Thank you very much. Thank you. You may go. Go, 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 go. I'm not going to share the stage with someone that handsome. <laughs> so, I think we all know who the alleged other woman is. Say it with me. The Marchioness of Chalmondele. <laughs> what a beautiful name that I'm being told right now that I pronounce incorrectly. It is, in fact, pronounced Chumley. <laughs> Counterpoint. No, it's not. <laughs> Learn English, England. No. And the thing is that um, he's uh, getting it from headlines. So if they're coming after him, they could show the headlines. He's reading it from headlines, but he makes fun of it, though. All right, so let's continue. There have been rumors an affair between William and the marching band of chicanery since <laughs> 2019. According to tabloids back then, when Kate supposedly confronted him about it, he laughed it off, saying there was nothing to it. Aha, always a good response when your wife accuses you of cheating. <laughs> ha ha, imagine me having an affair and is to laugh. It reminds me of a jape. Knock, knock. Who's there? Oh, it's my illegitimate son. I've knocked up my mistress. <laughs> the, the Marcus Mumford of Chubbawamba is an old friend. 
of the Royals, and she's married to a close friend of William's, David Rock Savage. Really? Rock Savage? That sounds less like a British noble and more like a musician from the Flintstones. <laughs> Rock Savage. What? Oh, sorry. I'm being told it's actually pronounced Chumley. <laughs> we got a great show for tonight. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Me feels this is what the prince wanted. Ah, someone who gets what's happening. Okay, you smart cookie. There's me here. Oh, oh, CBS is not going to have the opportunity to interview the future king of England now that the cat is out of the bag. That's what they told ABC regarding Andrew. There's that here. Well, Will wanted global spotlight. There it is. They can blame CBS for it because he was reading it off of headlines. Okay, so there's that. That's an ad. Whatever's here, that's it. Please show some respect uh, and use Vos's official title, the Marchion. Was it Marchion Billet? What the hell? Marchion Billet and Shaman Double Worth? What the hell? <laughs> Let me not even try. Uh, speaking of Vos, I went down a little bit of rabbit hole last night and I found out her like 30 years old sister is married to some 70 year old lord but the lord's first ex-wife is now married to Jules Holland and his second ex-wife is now married to McNutty from the Wire aka aka where is it where's the aka okay 70 year old but the, the lord first wife is now married to jules holland and his second ex-wife is now married to mcnutty from the wire aka prince charles oh so they related to what's that name queen uh, uh camilla camilla what the f that's so random nah they know what they're doing they want to keep it all in the family okay take a break <laughs> uh you I think I've heard this before. This is not the first time. Okay, you went too deep. Okay, it's literally all on one Wikipedia page. But thank you for your very unsolicited advice. Extremely random tweet person. <laughs> okay, and Vo's husband is 23 years older. And they met when she was a very young adult. And she was in her mid late 20s when they married. Okay, what I want to know is are any of them cousins because that will add another yucky dimension to all of this lol what the f did i just read <laughs> they're trying to phase out anything they ch i'm telling you they're trying to take it back so they could control of everything okay the same group okay ha huh? it's out now england is going to get a huge lesson on what the u.s first amendment is all about as long they're not defaming them, but he was. This is why I said he's reading it off of a headline. It was already printed someplace else. Okay, the royal mistress name is a mouthful. Now let's see the UK media cry as they try to stay tight-lipped. The story has broken. Okay, I don't think the mistress affair is the real scandal though. Scandal won't whack things that much. It's something more serious, possibly a crime. There's that other guy who got shot. You don't hear much about it. And there's maybe he was a witness. There's so many other things that I was hearing. Okay. Oh, hell breaks loose now. Okay. So let's go to the next tweet. And again, it has to do with William and Kate. Oh, shoot. I didn't copy anything. Next tweet. Okay. The fact that Victoria Ward mentioned the wink, William and Kate was not informed of the segment highlights that is the norm in the UK to give royals a heads up and or time to squash an unfavorable comment or story. So let's read this. The satire weeknight show is filmed in New York and regularly taps the US late night talk show ratings, regularly attracting more than 2 million viewers. It is now readily accessible in the UK, but clips were posted online and the segment concerning the princess was shared widely on social media, what I just shared with you. It is thought unlikely to go down well with Kensington Palace, which has struggled to squash social media speculation in recent days and is not thought to have been giving advance warning about the segment. A spokesman declined to comment. <laughs> There's me here. Spotlight, baby. You want it? You got it. There's two people who respond. <laughs> There's that. Yep. Okay. And this time the U.S. said, no, 
I like the way <laughs> the lips shows. People don't care about their made up rules outside of their bubble. Unveil that this little clan of a tiny island nation really think they deserve quote advance notice. Well, look what they were doing. Um, was it with suit when they find out Harry was uh, dating Megan? They literally was trying to take over of the suit cast, uh, the way uh, they write the storyline and stuff like that. But then again, Canada is uh, is a commonwealth of it. From the international media, if there's a story about them that is in the tongue bath, they really need to wake up to the reality of their status. Okay, is this about Colbert? There are a bunch of people with British flag in my mentions saying Colbert who? But uh, he has the number one late night. They know. They just want to pretend that they, he's not uh, relevant. Okay, but he has the number one late night talk show. His ratings are closer to 3 million without counting streaming, DVR, and his clips frequently go viral. He's Stephen Colbert. Wasn't he interview heavy? Okay, they know who he is. Okay, they just want to pretend they don't know him. Okay, we got a lot of problems in America, but one problem we don't have is, is having to cater to these lazy entitled German grifters. Okay, remember Omid's part in an ITV docu was edited because of what he was saying about Williams meeting up with tabloid hacks to discuss Harry. They removed the sound from the clip. Hmm. <laughs> They all a baggage for God. Not the same people who crackle over South Park's Harry and Meghan episode. I love it. It's so delicious. <laughs> get the arrogance of that family to think they should get advance notice of a segment of TV programs from another country. Do they really think they can control the world rather than just toxic British media? <laughs> They've been. They've been. Okay, well, uh, William and Kate wanted more visibility in the U.S. Mission accomplished. That's what I said too. It's all over mainstream media here now wondering what's going on across the pond. Sussex Henry. Okay, so, oh, there's the thing here. Pretty sure the Washington Post hasn't briefed the palace about this either. <laughs> the missing one. Okay, why should they let William and Kate know? The monarchy doesn't control the US media like the Brit media, but it's interesting how they let those shows hit on Meghan. They all are baggage for God. It's also extremely hypocritical because she didn't bother reaching out to Mason before she published the lie that he photoshopped Lily's birth announcement. What? What the hell is this? Okay, I don't know anything about that, but let's move on. There's that here. William protecting his alleged mistress while throwing his wife under the bus. He really is his father's child. Okay. Uh, Prince William's lawyers once again move with lightning speed to protect his mistress, Rose Henberry, Marchionet of Chumley, and remove her name from Guardian article. Reminder, three days ago, Prince of Pegging blamed the entire manipulated photo debacle on his wife, Kate Middleton. Okay, what is that here? Can I read it? Yes, I can. Okay, before and then after. And Royal Family News, the, the kingdom has been all a flutter by the seeming disappearance of Kate Middleton. Colbert reportedly, especially after multiple international footage agency okay i'm as i'm reading this i'm looking over here to see where there's any change a photo issues by kensington palace for image manipulation colbert jokingly noted that some internet sleuths have concluded that kate absence is because william is having an affair okay still there uh with rose Henberry. so there it is here they change it here affair and they remove that. They remove this sentence. The Marchionette of Chumley. Okay. So they remove it. Oh no. My heart. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. My heart goes out to Kate. Okay. The same thing. Now let's dish the hot gas. Colbert. Okay. Everything else remain. According to the tabloid. The affair began in 2019. When Kate confronted William about it. He laughed it off. And dismissed. I'm looking as I'm reading this. Um, aha, uh -huh. and dismiss it, ha, uh -huh. always a good response 
when uh, your wife accuses you of cheating, Colbert deadpan. Having a fair is to laugh off. I think everything else is the same. I don't want to read anymore. Oh, but this one, they removed that one completely. Okay, this paragraph is the same. This paragraph is the same. They remove Rose's name here. They remove Rose. Uh, I mean, this is the original. Rose's name is here, and they remove it here. The Marchioness of Mumphrey, everything else is removed. Um, Marchioness Mumford of Shambawamba is an old friend of the royal and married to Will's friends, David Waxabit. Really? Waxabit? That sounds less like a British noble and more like a musician from the Flintstone, Colbert joke. Okay, so they remove that completely. Hmm. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, this says everything about how he feels about Kate. Baggage for God. Ignoring the royals and their complex narrative is like trying to ignore a, a copa on a cold British day. Simply isn't done, is it? But really, if we're talking about speed, adventure that William lawyers who give Usain Bolt a run for his money, it's like an imperious game of... What is that? Imperious game of... William Lawyers give you same both more money and pure's game of legal whack a more. Okay. All right. So let me leave that alone. There's more. Let's move on. Okay. Maybe some of the comments here. Bottom up. I don't want to read that. Maybe this one. What is that? Prince William is protecting himself just like he did in 2019. What is that here? Okay, you could pause and read. Oh, it's blurry, so I don't even need to read, bother. It seems like Meghan Markle was correct when she said, quote, they were willing to lie to protect other members of the family, but they weren't willing to tell the truth to protect me and my husband. Okay, oh shit. It's really a repeat of a Diana years. Okay, it goes to show you that they could have done something about Meghan's coverage. Oh, right. They were causing it. All uh, right, is he done with Kate? He obviously has no respect for her, even as the mother of his children. Of course, he may have at least one kid with fools to. Her only function to him now is a scapegoat. Okay. <laughs> it's like, who knows what the older son is going to be, the, the future heir is going to be like. I'm telling you, people better stay away. Because um, he's already repeating some of the things uh, his father has said around that time, around his age. What woman would want to be involved with William after his massive PR disaster? Even worse is the total lack of respect he and his team have shown for his wife, the mother of his three children, one of the future future king. Okay, it appears the world of the royals is never free from intriguing of drama. Then again, perhaps what a court without a few whispers in the corridor. Only time will tell how these stories unfold and what truth they carry. I mean, like the, the other one was saying, they want drama, they want uh, entertainment. So the world is creating all that for them so they could write BS. Next tweet. So this is her here. Are y'all paying attention to what's happening on this here internet? On this here, not year, here, H-E-R-E, -E, here internet. There she is. I remember coming across this... Uh, this image of her when um, like two or three years ago no shame none of them have shame okay the chumley ladies circa 1600 to 1610 is a painting raising many questions today we're not going to talk about the puzzle and pegging down the identities of the woman we will focus on a different more mandate puzzle okay let's go into that and then i'll come back out Hey, hey, that's that 2024 20, strike again. All right, so let's go to the next tweet. I thought that had to do more with her, but not about painting. That was a long read, but not really interesting. Next tweet. Okay, I put this twice. I went over that already. Or uh, maybe it's because it's a different... Um, nope, that's the same one. Next tweet. This one is copied twice. Next tweet. Okay, according to the British media, William and Charles are not burying a body. They're just planting a tree. I repeat, the British media confirms they are not burying a body. <laughs> There's this here. I'm like, who would have thought this is what they don't win? <laughs> but when you look this one in the back, Kate, no, we haven't seen her. Us, we're just burying a tree, planting. We mean planting a tree, 
not bearing anything. No. I mean, who said that? This is a quote, by the way. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> That's me laughing my ass off. Why would anyone think they are burying a body? What makes them, what make them think that? Laughing my ass off. There's this. People just laughing. That's an ad. People just laughing. Okay, so let's go to the next one. This is about the puppet. Uh, I think we saw this picture already from um, one of those tweets that I was talking about, but someone retweeted out with caption anyone remember when the bullies made a caricature image of heavy and megan this is from new york post on william and kate what goes around comes around okay from the washington post there's a laugh willie and his puppet should have come to an agreement divorce or separation is no longer a scandal yeah i don't know why they're doing all of this or maybe she's not even there's nobody to divorce to maybe the person <laughs> disappear well she has her family over there she is up to them okay sorry correction washington post okay what did she say here washington from the washington post anyone oh and her caption she put new york post but it's washington post but she correct herself here washington post well hello <laughs> okay next tweet simple thing they're making it a big deal why i keep on doing that it's not copying everything I really, really, really want to make it to heaven. Okay, let's see. I swear to God, I'm not laughing. Okay, so she retweeted that. Before you stand with Catherine, you should make sure she can. <laughs> In the meantime, you should resort to standing for her, perhaps. Let's see here. There's a laugh here. Bah ha ha. People just laughing. I bet money, whatever God anyone believes in, is laughing at this too. Uh uh uh. Are they serious with this? I cannot think of a single cause she's genuine about, certainly not early years, considering how little they care about Megan and her children. They show zero care, so in my opinion, the early years was PR. I have seen some mad karma this week. I haven't been to church in 20 years, but thinking about getting right with God. <laughs> And what makes her think I want to waste my vulnerable time standing with, for, or even around Catherine KKK. Ma'am, we all on that hot ass bench. Let's just settle in and try get us some good company to go with. There's that here. You are not laughing and I'm here on the floor. Ha ha ha. These are my confession. Dear Lord, and I'm fasting. I should take a break from X or else I will lose my bonus point to get to heaven. Okay, I'm with you. I pray for forgiveness for smiling. All right, so let's go to the next tweet. Okay, so now we, this is completely different topic now. I have four more tweets and I think after that I'm going to stop. Um, it's regarding a picture that was put out and I think I shared that already on my community board. Okay, so this is where it started. I sort of put it in order. Okay. Claim prompts accusation of hypocrisy after a source close to the Sussexes criticized the Princess of Wales. Okay. I'm not going to even click on it. Okay. Megan's baby announcement picture was doctored with image of willow tree. Okay. So, and when I read, where's the part? Source. Okay. It's the Telegraph who tweeted it. And I knew it was fake. So this is me son here. This article is a lie. The photographer has denied any tree was added. The abuse of Harry and Meghan is no surprise and a common occurrence. Sadly, but here they are also defaming the photographer. Statement by Miss Anne Harriman. There's that here. So this is Miss Anne. My statement after seeing the online article. So it's 3 minutes and 49 seconds. I'll go into it afterward. And then I had another tweet making reference to it too. Um, there's that. The story originally reported, let's pause, originally reported and the daily fail is false. Miss Anne Harriman did not admit any photo doctoring. This is just yet another attempt by right-wing media and a morally bankrupt journalist to get a Prince Harry and Meghan with a false story. There's that here. When are you going to delete this post and retract the article giving it has categorically been proven to be lies? Okay, I hope that Miss and Sue. Mm -hmm. Natural photoshopping a tree into an original picture is quite the same as photoshopping an entire actual person, though, is it? Nope, the Welseses are about to eat this one all on their own. Okay, debunk. There's that. I'm looking for my comment. There's his here. 
okay it's being retweet this is what i have next okay how about this straight from a top palace source prince william beside himself over kate Middleton's decision to step away from what you do this report mm. step away <laughs> they're phasing her out lies meg and harry have said nothing hence why you cannot provide any quote directly from them forget edit why don't you focus on the fact that no proof of life of where is kate Middleton has been produced Hmm, missing the actual photographer will disagree yet again another shitty article written by shitty paper just to deflect from what's really going on better get your checkbooks ready missing isn't happy all right so let me go into uh, let me open another one i'll listen to his later but i wanna let me see if the thing that i have is his i think it was just an image not that this is not someone else who's talking about it the daily mail is looking to get sued again and their attempt to once again use megan marco to cover up william and kate sins the daily mail editors can't help themselves and do this because of KP's closeness to daily mail's owner and editors your time in the barrel is up victoria ward okay so let's read this that's a screenshot Megan's pregnancy announcement pictures was doctored with image of willow tree. Okay, claim prompted accusation of hypocrisy after a source close to the Sussexes criticized the princess of Wales over manipulating image. All right, so 2024, yesterday. All right. The Sun is also looking to get sued. Have at them. Missing, if you need help, uh, connecting to counsel and the state for any U.S. media that repeat U.K. media lies, I'll be more than happy to send you a list too. But I'm sure you have great legal counsel here. Okay, so she retweet that. Who's that? Exclusive. Megan and Harry Kim branded hypocrites over this. What the hell is this? I didn't... Let me go into that and I'll come back out. So that's the same thing. Who is this person? royal editor at the sun email me okay so that's a royal editor who's repeating the same thing oh my lord that's an ad i love to see these reporters get outed okay so i'll go into that because i think i have it and then i'll look at his thing racism in action okay so this is missing uh missing Harriman picture who put the original Okay, so that's a retweet of that. This article is a lie. The photographer has denied any tree was added. The abuse of Harry and Meghan is no surprise and common occurrence, sadly, but here they are also defaming the photographer. All right, so I still don't see my comment. I thought I did. Wow, this guy or gal whose parents name him or her a source close to the couple should get to mom. Whenever there's an obscure and unprovable negative and convenient info, for the UKKK tabloid media to spend into something interestingly ridiculous, he or she is always Johnny or Joanny on the spot. Trash. Thank you and for hearing this fine gentleman tell the truth, start reporting it as illegal in the EU racism in action. Okay, so this is missing picture. This is the one that I was looking for. I have one more tweet and then I'll share the video of missing um, talking about it. The original JPEG without the black and white grade. I expect a full apology and retraction from Mail Online, Telegraph, Victoria Ward. No tree or meadows were moved or swapped. This is the image straight out of camera. Also, this is a uh jacaranda tree not willow tree all right so let's see here all right oh, yellow oh where's the next and that's the file info wow mm -mm -mm. let's read some of the comment you are the man i thought that a yellow dress nice try guys okay wow can sit and boil show us your original photo <laughs> how william took kate middleton's mother's day photo in just 40 minutes so that was the original tweet of it okay how william took kate middleton's mother's day's photo in just 40 minute window before she edited it to make it the best it can be and so her children look good after palace spent weeks planning to release image to squash health rumors <laughs> 
I'm angry, frustrated, and sad. It's always up to black innocent people to justify themselves for white people's mess. Thank you, Mason, for this wonderful photo. Thank you for your integrity and professionalism. Report them to IPS. Oh, please. It's where things gonna go to die. Okay, they're not gonna do anything. It goes straight to the court. We, especially when you know you have proof of it. All right, report them to IPSO if they don't and seek the remedy of an online retraction and apology as well as front page on the paper version. Okay, UK Media or Red, they have a huge royal scandal in the UK but are busy looking for what happened with Harry and Meghan's pick. They purposely did that. Okay, they want to create chaos from that because they, I think everything they have tried regarding William and Kate missing thing, okay, nothing worked nothing worked because for them if the people had accepted the picture that they put out with kate with the kids right now they would have been moving on with something else but they keep on putting other things other things each thing that they put out they keep calling them out they can't get a break from it so this is to sort of distract it but people still asking where's kate still okay sue them they'll still Profiting from their lies, I just saw Telegraph publish on here another piece which is clearly casting doubt on your response that compounds the willful misrepresentation of the fact sued them. All right, so there's, okay, let me finish with that. Royalists and British media and their propaganda should learn to keep Meghan and Harry out of their royal family scandal. It had nothing to do with them. Will Kate now share the original photo? I guess not, so leave Sussex out. See, what happened is that the, the, the papers, the journalists, the I don't even think they're journalists, those uh, royal rats, what happened is that when they go to court, there is no punishment. This is the thing here. They are in control of almost everything and they have tons of money. Okay, so they pay people a few bucks, you know, get off our backs or whatever, but they have money to keep on doing that. And then they doing these things to distract people from something else. There is something much bigger that's going on. So many of us are not paying attention to these things. Okay, you have the missing princess and you have things around the world that's happening. Who knows what their military is doing someplace else. The main thing is there needs to be punishment. If there is jail time, there is punishment and things like that, they'll stop. But other than that, it's just a recycle of things. Okay, so that's it. All right, so this is the, can you imagine, this is what Princess Diana was going through. This is exactly what Princess Diana was going through. And she was on her own. All right, this is my last tweet. And then I will be, show, oh, where's the video? I'll be showing this video. Let me might as well put it out. Okay, let me pause Doctrine. it. Uh, um, let's pause, the... let's pause. Everything happens for a reason. Something good came from the British media lying about missing Harriman. Major news media have picked it up and went with it. By doing so, they put on blast the lying hypocritical British media for the world to see, for the world, I guess, for the world to see that Prince Harry and Meghan were right. Okay, so these are screenshots of different um, places that talking about it. Okay, the the lies that they put. Okay, so there it is here. Oh, there's more. There's all of that. Okay, so they quickly pick it up and they're talking about it. Okay, world. Okay, so subscribe, Miss and her man, if you ever decide to sue them. Okay, what is that? There's a story, Megan and Harry spark speculation over same tree use and recent photos. When was that? September 24. Megan, Marco, and Prince Harry may be using the same tree and the raft of different photos. So, so they're carrying that tree over. You could pause and read it. Okay, so that's the tree here when they were taking their pictures. Uh, uh, uh. There's the tree in the back here. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, there's that here. I don't know if it's the same. This look thinner. But whatever. Oh, this is where I put it, uh, my comment. I thought it was way on the other thing. Uh, the other tweet. Every effing day, the British media keeps proving Harry and Meghan were telling the truth every day. Okay, I'm so glad this got picked up and the hypocrisy got exposed. 
that's because we not, no longer i don't know are they still talking about heavy uh not heavy are they still talking about william and kate because this is why they throw that out okay to distract from talking to uh william and the, the and kate missing okay the truth matters i don't see the uk press any differently instead of doctoring photos to lie they straight up just lie and print maybe this discussion should be broadened okay so now let's listen to missing thing let's go into it three minutes and 49 seconds there will be screenshot okay hey i i just got back to reality from the oscars and unfortunately there's been an article on the daily mail saying that i have admitted to doctoring um the pregnancy announcement portrait i took of harry and megan Apparently, I was switching out trees and meadows, and I admitted to this in an episode of a podcast called Private Passions. What? This is crazy. I um, I was interviewed, I think, in 2022 by Michael Barkley. I'm going to play you the segment um, on Private Passions. Um, and we were talking about the technology I use to shoot people during lockdown. Many photographers were doing virtual shoots in those days. And this is how we came onto the subject. Michael asked me a few leading questions in this interview. Uh, what I mean by leading questions, it's what some journalists do where they make a statement as fact and they hope you respond or add something to it. Um, I get that a lot in regards to Harry and Meghan and I tend to swerve, ignore, try and get back on track um, and say what I'm there to say rather than any sort of intrigue and gossip. Um, and that's exactly what happened. I'm going to play you the segment. Photography. <laughs> yeah, but virtual shooting. Um, my most well-known virtual shoot is the portrait I took of, of um, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle uh, announcing their pregnancy. Um, it's a very joyous image. The technology allows you to take over a phone or an iPad and they can hear my voice and I can still press a shutter and compose with ease. It's extraordinary what you can do with technology. Uh, they weren't actually under a willow tree, but they were lying outside in a meadow, weren't they, Harry and Meghan, when you took a photograph of them? Yeah, they were lost in, in their love, at home, in their garden, comfortable, celebrating new joy, new life, the fortitude of hoping for light in life after such a loss that uh, they went through um, with a miscarriage. So it really was a, a particularly joyous image to celebrate life itself. Well, so how that exchange could amount to me admitting to doctoring an image is insidious and really dangerous journalism. Any mention of meadows and willow trees came out of the person doing the interview, not my mouth. Hmm. I did my best to ignore it and focus on what I wanted to talk about. So to see an article saying as fact that I did what I did not do is extraordinary to me. And then to try and merge it with this current news cycle of what's, what's happening um, it's, it's, it's just, it's tragic to see. Wow. It was a virtual shoot that I shot on an iPad, an eight mega pixel iPad. And the only thing that was changed is the black and white color grade. That's it. And the Daily Mail and the journalist that wrote this has to be better than this. It's dangerous and unacceptable behavior. Wow. Okay, so that's all I have. Um, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. All right, so that is it. I don't feel like recording anymore. It's 5.49 and a few I'm going to wake up my kids. So there's no reason for me to do those old tweets that I was supposed to do yesterday before the Megan case uh, was made public. 
All right, so that's it. Thank you for watching. And uh, as a prayer, baggage for God. Everybody have their own baggages. God knows, okay? I'm not going to. And may uh, God protect Miss and Harriman and uh, whatever he wished to do, uh, proceeding with uh, the lie that was published about him, may God guide him to victory, whatever it may be. All right, so that is it. Thank you for watching. It is a great privilege to be with all of you today. You know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back. for the better.